that people want to grip onto something real something that's like that you can see something that you can feel something that you touch that's why in the last days many people will be deceived by the miracles that the beast does because they want to see something real when instead of just believing and trusting that god is real and what god says that he will do instead of just trusting that they trust in the materialistic things that is why that is why people trust more in money than they do in God. That they do trust more in mammon than they do in God. Because they trust in the materialistic thing. The things they can see with the eyes. The things they can touch. The things that they can feel. and they t The things that they can feel. The things they can touch. The things that they can see. People want materialistic things. People want something to feel. Rather than trusting to God. You cannot feel. You cannot touch. You can feel his presence but you cannot touch. And you cannot see him with your naked eye people always want something to touch and something to feel and that is that is what the beast is going to use the weakness that is the weakness he's going to use to deceive many in the last day and i've got this revelation because of acts 3 verse 12 where it says so when peter saw it and he responded to the people men of israel why do you marvel at this or why you look so intently at us as though by our own power or godliness, we have made this mad war. People marveled because they saw something that they thought was, air quotation marks, real. Atheists and other people deny that God is real because they cannot see him. Some scientists deny God because they cannot see him or they cannot prove him by their own ways. But we can prove God. We can prove God by trusting in him and by doing it. Abraham, he proved God in his word. But when Isaac, when he put Isaac, by trusting in God, when he put Isaac on that stone to sacrifice him, he proved God then by saying that God will not break his promise. Because God promised Isaac to Abraham and a generation that will come after Isaac. And God, he proved God by, keep, by God keeping his promise. And by obeying God. So how will you prove God today? How will you prove and trust in God today? And that is the message I have to say. Thank you for listening. And have a blessed week.